Hello everybody, my name is Kitty Mary and today I am finally <laughs> back with another anti-food waste recipe video. These videos are kind of shorter than some of my other videos but I really want to keep them concise so you're able to find the things that you're looking for and as always you can also find the recipes down below on my blog if you want to read them rather than watch them. Sometimes that makes more sense. So of course they're down below as well. Let's get into the video. The first thing we're going to make is vanilla applesauce. When using raw vanilla, don't throw away the pot once you have extracted the vanilla you need. There's so much more good stuff in there and the pot itself is also really useful. You can add it to different sauces and purees, but today we're going to be making sweet and versatile applesauce. Start by peeling three to four apples, but make sure to save both the cores and the peels because we'll be using those in a second as well. I recommend not using an 80 year old peeler for this and things will go by a lot more smoothly. Now cut the apples into smaller pieces. We're going to cook them so the smaller they are, the faster that will go. If you like your applesauce a little chunky, you can make the pieces bigger and if you like it more smooth, then you can cut them smaller. The consistency that I'm going for is a nice good middle ground. Now we're going to set the quote unquote waste aside and focus on the apples. Place the vanilla pod in the bowl with the apples and add half a cup of water. Actually forget the bowl and we're going to transfer everything into the pot right away. Now we're going to stir the apples on medium heat for about 10 to 15 minutes or until the apples are soft and saucy. I stand by saucy in this context. It might look a little dry but give it time. The water and the apples will be cooked out and improve the consistency. I like to slightly mash the apple chunks to help the sauce really get there so before I do that I take out the vanilla pot. Now while everything is still hot I add my sauce to a jar and let it cool off. Run the glass over hot water to temper it and prevent it from breaking by the way. Now we have a nice, tasty and anti-food waste vanilla apple sauce that you can use in baking or in smoothies, in desserts or just on its own as a snack. This is sort of a base recipe and you can add more flavors if you like, like caramel, brandy, licorice or chili, depending on what you like and what you need it for. Now for the peels. There are several things you can do with apple peels and apple cores. You can candy them, you can bake them, you can juice them, and obviously you can compost them. But today we are going to be making our own apple cider vinegar. Transfer the apple peels into a jar. I recommend using a tall jar for this, but of course any jar will do. And add about half a cup of sugar. Oh yeah, 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 that's too much. It should look kind of like this when probably added. <laughs> now add filtered water. It's kind of important that the water is filtered because you really cannot make this work if there's calcium or other minerals in the water. Cover the apple completely and now screw the lid on and give it a good shake. Then take the lid off and replace it with a cloth. I set my cloth on tight with an elastic band. Now set the jar in a cool place and let it rest for about three to four weeks and bam, you have your own homemade apple cider vinegar in three to four weeks. For this next recipe, we're going to be using a part of the potato that is usually wasted, but that has the potential of becoming a great low waste and anti-food waste snack. Of course, we're going to be using the potato skin. Because we'll be cooking the skins, we'll start by thoroughly cleaning the potatoes. I am using some lukewarm water and a kitchen sponge and quickly scrubbing them down so there's no dirt left. If the potatoes have weird spots or green areas, I would cut those off as well. And FYI, the peels don't stay fresh for very long, so cook them as soon as they're peeled. If you peel them and wait, they might not be as good. Now let's get started. I would recommend using a peeler rather than a knife to create those super thin strips. And try to make the strips long as well by going slowly all the way through the potato. The longer the strips are, the better and easier they are to eat later. Now I'm adding some cayenne pepper for a little bit of spice from my peels along with some salt, pepper and oil. By the way, before combining them with the peels, I would also recommend drying the peels off with a cloth towel to remove moisture. I didn't do that and mine got crispy anyway, but I think it will be even better if you do that too. When everything is mixed together, lay the peels out on a baking sheet or in a tray and try not to place them on top of each other for the most crispy result. I also recommend using a silicone mat or some parchment here so they won't stick to the tray itself. Place them in a preheated 200 degrees Celsius oven for about eight to 10 minutes and let them cool off for two minutes. Guys, they turned out so crispy. Listen to this. Okay, okay. Now this. I mean, 
10 out of 10. Enjoy your anti-food waste crispy potato peels that you can eat as is or with a dip or even sprinkle on top of another dish. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any other recommendations or tips or requests in terms of recipes and in terms of anti-food waste recipes, leave them down below. If you have some cool ingredients that you think that I should be using in my next video about this, again, let me know and we can create a cool little playlist where people just never have to waste anything ever again because we just created this amount of videos that will help people avoid that. That's the dream, Sunny. Thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing day. If you feel like it, you can subscribe to my channel. That would make my day. And remember to like up this video as well. See you guys in my next video and take really good care of yourselves. Until next time. Bye. Thank you so much for watching this video and also a special thank you to my Patreon supporters. You guys help me create green zero waste contents and I love you guys. You can find the links to my social media accounts down below and the link to my Patreon on this screen. Bye!